Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here, aka Retro Old School. I was on the fucking scrap STM bus there, heading towards Metro Vendôme here in the NDG borough of Montreal, and I see this big old car park there. So, oh, got off there, so I gotta go get a little video of that. What do we have here? Oh, it appears to be... Ooh! Ooh, rare! Fucking rare! That is a... That's a Meteor, I think. 6970. Convertible. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the size of that icicle. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's amazing, especially considering we're still the fucking dead of winter. We're February here, early February. This is a Canadian model, a Canadian version of a Mercury uh, uh, Monterey. And today, earlier today, I uh, earlier this afternoon, I filmed an 80, uh, I don't know, 80 to 82 uh, Delta 88 that... Uh, uh, I've been eyeing a couple of times and I was I finally found it uh, I don't know a few weeks back when it was snowing but it was covered in snow so I didn't film it until now and look at this a rare fucking again like I said 69 70 uh, Meteor Moncam convertible with old centerline wheels so it looks like this car was restored a long time ago we just get a shot of her underneath there so she looks like I can't really see well Right on, right on, that is amazing. It's funny because there used to be a business here that was specializing in neon lighting. That doesn't look like it's here anymore and they had it, they had a big Grumman step van there. Wow. Uh, let's see what she looks like here in the front. Oh, 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 got a little rust, a little damage here, right there. Yeah, the 69 and the 70 full-size Mercury's, they uh, they uh, look a lot alike. And this one here, I think is a 70 because the the 69 had the same grill, but there was like a like a cross pattern in the middle, you know, like so many cars. Yeah, that's really something. Wow, I'm really glad I got off the scrap to come and check this thing out. Fuck, I mean... Uh, I think the last time I saw one of these actually was a convertible and it was last year or the year before and at a show in Brossard it was red. It would be neat if the owner actually uh, saw this video but I think he was actually selling that car so what's the interior look like? Interior, interior. Interior is good. Interior is very nice. Can't see really well though. Oh yeah, love the dash on these cars actually. Interior is very nice. You know, it's a shame because look, there's some there's some holes there in this car. If it sits for a long enough time, it's just going to deteriorate. It would be a, such a shame because this is actually a rare Canadian car. It doesn't have much value. It's not a question of the value. It's a question of its value, but its rarity. You know, it's. Uh, God, I mean, if this thing's for sale, somebody save it. Seriously, you know. Look, there's got some whole rust developing here. Yeah, this car sat outside a long time. Not here necessarily, but I mean, look at the rust out on the on the quarters there. That's this thing was probably sitting up against a wall or something. And I don't know why the. It looks as if. I think that's all ice and snow there. That's why the whole front is dropped like that. What the hell happened here? Yeah, it's amazing though. I still, I'm really glad to see it. I just, it would be great if somebody restored it, you know, uh, <laughs> again, for what, the second or third time. Uh, top like that, that's not going to be cheap though to, to, to replace that. Wow, that's terrific. Wow, this has been a great couple of days, I have to say. I, uh, you know, I, I don't, uh, again, it's the dead of winter. This isn't uh, California here, you know, so there's not... Uh, it's not like there's a ton of old cars outside, so... Oh yeah, and I even spotted, a, uh, I think, an early 80s BMW E320 uh, today. So, there you go.